going to be a glorious someday. <laughs> you little shit. Well, that's what I get for reading the chat. Fucking Otaku distracted me. That's what I'm gonna blame that on. There's a box up there. I don't know what weapon it is, so I'm not gonna pick it up, I guess. Until now. Not a bad weapon. Reach the river crossing. Oh, we're gonna jump in it in our glorious air conditioner. We don't want to get, we don't want to get the, the upholstery soaking wet. Damn it! Fucking, fucking bears. Bears. Nope. You no know, take mushroom. Maybe you do. They entered into the Great Plains. Woohoo! Great Plains! Large herd of buffalo! Kel fucking surprise. Yeah, but not the mere shooting, I could definitely see it being useful. It's just, uh, unpredictable. It's hard to strategize for something you, uh... You're, you're really not sure how it's gonna shoot. Although I might not be aware of some sort of behind-the-scenes formula, which is actually perfectly predictable. If only I were looking for it. I'm sure that's how it works. Some angry buffalo charged the wagon, of course. They did. Because they're not allowed to have nice things. They're tired of getting hunted to extinction. By the crazy white man on his fucking caboose. Came across a fur trader. What you got for me, fur trader? Smaller, easier... Yes? <laughs> Distant gunshots? Uh, we don't exactly have the health. I don't want to risk that. We uh, have a distinct lack of health here. We started so far in the hole. Oh, shit. Well, this will take a while. journey. Good news. Well, this weapon isn't that bad, I guess. The quick firing rate really does make up for any sort of accuracy quirks. Alright, gotta make sure I don't die. I'll be back. Not sure whether we're in the best condition to swim again, but I would like to try for a treasure chest. Besides, the desert's pretty fucking dangerous. Fuck that noise. I think I stocked up on corpses there fairly nicely. Ooh. Yes. Uh-huh. Narwhals, not so much. I could do without the narwhals, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Fucking narwhals. Stab me. 
giant squid. Hey, there we go. Now we have to keep in mind by taking this treasure chest, the giant squid will be popping up at the end. Uh, so we will have an extra encounter to fight. Hopefully this is worth it. A magic... Oh. oh, this group is fucked. This group is fucked. We're dead. This weapon ain't doing shit. I would have rather have used it. Hey, sword! Here we go. Shuriken will work. Yeah, we could win with Shuriken. We've done it before. The ninjas and ninja stars. There we go. Oh, I'm pressed by the sword. They decided to keep using it. We didn't switch to the shuriken. <laughs> you know what? It's still better than the fucking magic wand. But the bow fucked everything up. It really did. Fire all the shots at the bow. Fucking bow. Oh, that sword actually could have taken care of the wolves better than the bow. Well, that wasn't going anywhere good anyway. Let's go adventuring. <laughs> Who will be going adventuring? First off, we have... Yakuwari. We'll be a fine gentleman with a hipster mustache. Then we have the Cake Boy. He'll be a fine gentleman, he will... You'll look like that. <laughs> and then we have Larry! Larry, I hate. He'll be a fine gentleman with a white beard. God damn it, Cake Boy, what have I done to you? <laughs> oh, god damn it. <laughs> We'll try the modern wagon one more time. Really starting in the hole for health. Really a big drawback for this one. I see this one being a challenge uh, more than anything else, which will heavily depend on luck. And sit us slightly. I actually wouldn't mind events right here at the beginning when, when which uh, one or multiple of these characters got sick. Because they start with one health anyway, and by successfully surviving until the end of a scene whatever terminology you want to use, they'd actually have full health. That'd be nice. Alright. The wagon to look for wild berries. Where you get attacked by bears? Yes. however long I gotta stay up now. I, I haven't hit the 24 hour mark. 
fucking fluffy and stupid. And everyone knew this already. <laughs> You had someone who was at one health died due to the uh, food poisoning? That's a thing. Yes, well, good thing we got that med kit earlier, everyone. We're back to one health each. Not the best weapon to handle bears. Yeah! Well, cake boy! <laughs> Filled with holy vigor. The oxen move very slowly. <laughs> no, Fluffy Wolfie. I didn't. I hit 21. That's not 24. Regardless, it's all up to me anyway, but the, my goal was to go at least 24 hours. Extra Life's goal was is to go 25 hours, but they're the dumb shits who got DDoS'd. They also try to peer pressure people into millions of fucking donations. I know I'm tired, but uh, I, 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 I'm pretty good at grasping the concepts of what I said. Fucking slow. Oh, fucking game. Well, cake boys at full health, everyone. Sometimes you can't find proper words to explain. <laughs> Using that not the native language excuse, I see. Mm. Finally, the oxen recovered from black fever. Hooray! Came across the fur trader. <laughs> Sixteen for animal hide. Oh, I'm at full health. I tell you what I do like on that list, though. Flamethrower. Now, let me be clear. I would very much enjoy that flamethrower. Yay, Civil War battle. Yeah, I'm hoping I don't get forced into a uh, weapon pickup here. Unless it's actually superior to the flamethrower, like if I get forced into a falcon pickup. Uh oh. Could be an extra person to join the wagon, right? But it's bad, it's. Serpentine! Dead. Woo -hoo -hoo! Cause that's what I needed, more flamethrower. Damn it, I got shot. Laser blaster, dear god in heaven! Shit! I don't think we're gonna survive! No! My flamethrower! Damn it! 
Why would I run up? Because flamethrowers have limited reach. Alright, it's enough of a modern wagon. <laughs> In really creating a character that looks like that was probably not for the best anyway. The dude. W. Caitlin. I spell it right. K A I T L Y N N W. A fair lady. Ooh. Looks like that. And then Otaku Dash. Fine gentleman who looks like that. Next wagon to use. This is the order in which we unlock these. We have to use the ancient next. Alright, let's use the ancient. Now, we. The first game we won was actually with the dinosaur egg. Orko made it to the finish line at the end with a dinosaur egg. It's very nice and powerful as I walk into fucking pterodactyl. And, uh... Apparently this does not start with a health penalty either, which is very nice. Yay, skunks. So welcome to we're the only people who uh, actually take penalties for any of the scenery or any of the obstacles we encounter along the way. What game, everyone? Very dark inside. Well, that's good. Upon lighting a torch, you found it was a little giant bat. That's great! River crossing? Well, we'll go ahead and jump it. We have the power of a dinosaur on our side. What could possibly go wrong? Damn it, fucking bears. All right, great plans. Here we go. A oh boy, the oxen feasted. <laughs> What oxen? <laughs> Are you talking about the, the Tricera oxen? Suppose that is a thing. Alright. Now the damn thing is so fast that I'm having a hard time keeping track of it. My, uh, my sleep paddle brain. Yeah, it's too fast. 
I was used to having the flamethrower on. I didn't adjust. Thank you, Fur Trader. I'm sure it will. I was hoping to uh, escape through uh, with some luck there, and that did not happen. Turns out I need to apply myself. They got tired of throwing all those dinosaur eggs? What? What? Okay, I thought we got rid of them. a little concerned there. Haunted burial site? Oh my. They got better at throwing the eggs. <sighs> yes, we traded in our Triceratops for a wagon. <laughs> Because the wagon's smaller and more maneuverable than a Triceratops is. Damn it, Otaku is now a red spot in the water, everyone. Right before the scene change. <laughs> Sometimes Otaku, your best just isn't good enough. Here we go. Flamethrower. Now this shit's awesome. Go giant squid or treasure chest this time. But then again we got the magic wand. Last time's pretzel for the best. Oh, Damn it. Fucking crabs. Taking away my flamethrower. Serious business time, folks. There we go. Wolves, fuck your wolves. Oh, 
Especially when I got the flamethrower here. There we go. That'll take care of me for the night. Fantastic. Woohoo! We had enough food! What's up, Trader? I'll be taking those. Have a nice day. God damn it, why are we drinking to stay warm? This is a terrible idea. Fucking inebriated bastards. Of course you get the attention of a swarm of rabbit squirrels. Why the fuck wouldn't you? Not our camp. Also, I stepped into the fire by accident. Good job, me. Fucking eagles! Oh, I'd rather have dealt with the crows. Or even the buffalo. This is terrible. Whew. I'm not awake enough for this shit right now. <laughs> Definitely not. Well, this isn't good. Especially since the pterodactyls uh, have a really hard time with the rocks. But you know, again, this is the weapon. The first weapon we ever won with. I ever won with, rather. So it can definitely take on the riverboat. Actually, maybe the first weapon we ever won with was a flamethrower replacing a dinosaur egg. <laughs> you know, actually, I've been awake for so fucking long, I don't honestly remember. It's it's uh it's been 23 hours since I since I woke up, and 22 hours since I started broadcasting. Well, oh. Uh oh, I don't think we're making it to the riverboat though. I take a lot of fucking luck. Definitely not skill. Damn it, fucking sharks. Why don't you attack the fucking bandits, you goddamn sharks? What the fuck? It's dumb. You are the dumb. Actually, to see what uh, what Matt's up to. I'm definitely curious. Well, let me check the extra life values first. All right, that's that. How's Steam get wave looking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's say that wasn't so bad. Right, team get waved. See, overall rank. It's not that bad. It's uh, worse than what we did last year. But there's a lot more participants. Uh, actually, my overall rank. I thought the team rank. Team rank wise. Oh, team rank rise.